In this lesson, we will take care of this point in the job description to create users. The client suggested two ways. Could be endpoint, could be an artisan command. But logically thinking, I don't think the endpoint is good because, for example, if your database is empty, if there's only endpoint to create users, which is admin endpoint, who and how would create the first admin? Should it be via database or tinker or something? So I vote for artisan command from the very beginning, and this is exactly what we will do in this lesson. To generate artisan command, it's very simple in Laravel. Make command, let's call it create user command. I'm not sure if you noticed, but I like to suffix all the files with their purpose, like command, like middleware and stuff like that. So create user command. And this is the file generated for us by Laravel. We need to change the signature. So what would be PHP artisan something something. So let's call it users create. And description, it would be shown just in the list of artisan commands, PHP artisan list from what I remember. Let's put creates a new user as a description. And then inside of the handle, this is where we actually need to create a user. Now user would be created with user create and then inside we need to pass the array how do we get that array array of parameters so name email password and role we have four parameters to ask the user ask the terminal the artisan command user and laravel has a few features how to pass those parameters so you can pass them space separated like arguments of similarly as you would have bash command but i personally go for this ask so you have a question, for example, name of the new user, and let's assign that to the user name. Let's populate that as array, and then we pass that array here in the user like this. So first we have name, and then if it's all successful, we will return the error code zero, which means successful. And before that, we'll do this info, user created successfully, and let's add also user email like this. So user email. For now, we don't have that email and this will be our next step. We duplicate that name, email and email of the new user like this. For now, let's stop here and let's try to launch the command for now. So we copy users create, open the terminal and go PHP artisan users create. And it would ask name of the user, for example, admin, email, admin something admin com and then of course it would fail for now because we don't have password but in general you see how the terminal command works the artisan command so let's continue we ask for the password and obviously we do the same thing duplication but in this case we need to hide the symbols of the password like asterisk in this case laravel provides a secret method so similar to ask but just with secret and then also the role, the role will be even more complicated. So we need to choose the role or in fact, it won't be the part of the user array because we will need to attach the role later. So it's not a user field, it's a user role field with many to many. So we'll have, let's assign it role name. And then we ask choice, the question. So role of the new user. And then we provide the array of potential parameter, admin, or editor and also one more parameter optional parameter the default value if user just hits enter so we have our role name and then we immediately need to check if that role name exists in our database so i will paste this piece from my notes to avoid you see me typing and then in role we have autocomplete by php storm so we query the role the database and if it doesn't exist then we do this error so at the bottom, you have this info for like success message in terminal in artisan command. Otherwise we have error and we just return, for example, minus one for error message. In general, artisan command that returns zero means successful. Any other return number or string would be considered as failed. And now where do we get those roles from? We need to seed them from the very beginning of the project. So let's generate the seed PHP artisan make seeder role seeder and we will seed those two roles inside of that role seeder we do just role create name admin and then another one will be editor and now to launch that seed you have two options do php artisan 
db seed or db seed with specific class of role seeder like this. So we'll launch that, it is successful. And in our database, we have those records present. And if you want that seeder to be a part of global seeding process, you add those to database seeder instead of default factories and all those commented out code, we have this call role seeder class like this. Okay, so we have the seeds now. Let's get back to our command. And by this time, the role should be present. Let's move on with more validation probably. But before the validation, let's actually think about the shiny scenario that everything is okay and we don't need to validate anything. So we need to have user create, or in fact, let's call it new user create. And then we need to attach the role. New user roles attach with many to many relationship and we have role ID as a record in here. And here I suggest to use database transaction. If you have more than one operation of updating something or inserting something, one of them may fail. And if the second one fails, the first result stays the same. And what is the implication here? So if the role attachment fails for whatever reason, then the user email would be already taken in the database. And if you try to later create the user with the same email, the email would be taken by unique validation, although you haven't actually fully created that user. So to avoid that, let's call db transaction. And inside we have just a callback function, which should use a few parameters. So we need to use user and role outside variables, which are not by default accessible in this callback function. And then inside of that db transaction, we do the user create and user role attach. And also we forgot one thing to hash the password. We can do it inside here or use it here. So hash facade make from this value. And now let's try to actually launch command successfully. Users create user name, user user com for example, password password and editor role created successfully. In my database, I have user com and also in the role user, we have a new record with UUIDs. Great. And now let's actually make a step back and validate the data. So in addition to this validation, we would have more validation rules here, like name required, email required and stuff like that. But in this case, we don't have a form request. We cannot use request validate or anything like that because, well, we don't have request variable like this here. So how to make a validation in the terminal command, in the artisan command? I will paste it from my notes and will explain. So this is the code. Validator, you can make the validator instance of Laravel. Let's autocomplete that with support facades. Also I have the validation rules default from, from what I remember it was Laravel breeze or something. So rules of password. And then if the validator fails, which means we actually run this validation on our array of user. And if the validator fails, then we show all those errors and return. Let's return minus one again. And also here, I see that we cannot do user password hashing here because we need to validate it first. So let's do something like this, not hash make here, but instead do it here. So user password equals hash make of user password like this. Of course, you can make that hash in the observer of user observer user model before saving that's your personal preference. And now let's try to validate something. So we have the user with user user com. Let's try to generate the same user. Name is irrelevant, but the email is important. User user com, then password, let it be too short, and then role, whatever. And then we have two validation errors, email taken and password is invalid. And that's it for this lesson. In this case, I deliberately chose to not write automated tests like feature tests, because this is not actually a feature in my opinion, this is not a user facing feature. So whoever would be responsible for creating the user, they would have access to a terminal, which means it would be probably a trusted user, owner of the project or something like that. And they would handle the errors themselves. You can call me lazy in this case, I would call it more efficient use of time in favor to create more features 
which are user facing front facing for the API. In this case, it's internal command, it's not API. You can of course create that test as a homework and provide the link in the comments below for others to see. In the next video, we will use those users, admin users to create travel records.